Let's assume that the universe is finite and try to count the number of galaxies. After all, each of them may have systems similar to the solar system, and each may have planets similar to Earth. The Milky Way was once thought to be a metagalaxy, a single galaxy stretching across the entire universe. Thus, even those galaxies that could be observed through a telescope were thought to be merely nebulae from which a star system might later form. Until the middle of the 19th century, this view was the only correct one, until William Parson built a telescope two meters long. Then he was able to see spiral galaxies and prove that they were galaxies and not just nebulae. In the 20th century, an incredible number of pictures were taken of Andromeda, our galaxy's closest neighbor, proving that it is a galaxy with a nucleus and arms, and it is not part of the Milky Way. After that, astronomers began to turn again to the previously designated nebula, discovering galaxies. But for an observer from Earth, the planet's atmosphere is a very serious obstacle. So the Hubble Orbiting Telescope was created to get more accurate results. In 2004, the Hubble Telescope photographed a section of space near the constellation of the Big Dipper. The size of the photograph was only one thirteen millionth of the entire area of the starry sky. An incredible number of galaxies appeared in the visible void. A total of 10,000 galaxies were captured in the image. If we assume that the universe is isotropic, identical, in all directions, then according to preliminary calculations there can be about 130 billion galaxies in it. And this is based on the sensitivity of the Hubble telescope. If we consider the infrared and X-ray bands, the number of galaxies as of 2014 is estimated at 7 trillion 375 billion. But different kinds of cosmic dust can obscure about 90% of the visibility. So even 7 trillion could turn out to be 70 trillion. So we've gone from one Milky Way galaxy to 70 trillion. But these are only the galaxies we can observe, or rather, only a fraction of them. But we remember Stardust. But what if the universe is infinite? We have a video on this topic on our channel. We're trying to figure out if the universe has limits. Watch the hint in the corner to watch this video. Anyway, so far we can only operate on a figure of 70 trillion. Do you like that figure? In the future, mankind will have more powerful telescopes, and perhaps the number will increase. Or the numbers will lose their meaning if the theory of the infinity of the universe proves to be correct. Right now, we are infinitely far away from the many mysteries of the cosmos, and there are so many mysteries in space. Subscribe to the channel. We will talk about space from different angles. And we will try, if not to answer, at least to think about the questions that arise when you think about space.